Today we have Sammy Duda, the VP of Western Veg for Duda Farm Fresh Foods here with us. Sammy, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Well, Sammy, how did you get your start in this industry? Well, I kind of grew up in it, obviously. I mean, I'm a fourth generation family member and my great grandfather started the business in 1926 in Central Florida. And so as the generations came through, um, it just naturally occurred to me to be in the business. I really never thought about doing anything else. But before you got in the industry, we have to talk about your time playing baseball. Tell us a little bit about that. We enjoyed sports and uh, played football and basketball, golf. But uh, baseball became more than that to me. And I was pretty good. And so I uh, was able to play college baseball. And I went through the JC ranks in Florida and ended up at Mississippi State University playing baseball. What did baseball teach you about the produce industry? Baseball is a sport that you've got to think a couple of plays ahead. If the ball's hit to you, you have to know in advance what you're going to do with it. I think the produce business is that way also. You can't just think about what's going to happen next week, and you always have to be thinking two or three plays ahead. I don't think a lot of our viewers knew that baseball and produce are so similar. <laughs> well, you get a lot of curveballs in, in the produce exactly. business as well, either from the weather or from markets, whatever it may be. So you have to develop an ability to hit a curve to be successful in the produce business. Right. Mother Nature is the curveball in uh, this Among industry. other things, yes. That's right. <laughs> what was the most important thing that you learned from your father? I know that you worked with a lot of family members in the business, but what is it, the most important thing that your dad taught you? Well, you know, I think there was a, a certainly a, a passion for the produce business that he still has to this day, even though he retired some time ago, he still calls me and asks me what the celery market's doing or the lettuce market, whatever it may be. So that passion and interest certainly was instilled in me, but I think there was a humbleness in my father, the fact that there's so many things outside your control. I think there was also a curiosity in the business that there's always a little bit better way to do things and that interest and that curiosity has enabled us to be successful over so many generations. So how does celery fit into your overall program? Well, we realize that even though celery is our flag in the ground, you, you really can't be a one-trick pony where you have one item only where a, a, a very good produce company with a focus on celery. But we also have to be very good in lettuce and romaine and citrus and other items. And I think another thing that makes Duda so unique is your fresh cut facility in Oxnard. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, the company's made a, a, a tremendous investment in the Fresh Cut program from facilities to people to equipment. So we breed for flavor, for color, for lack of stringiness. When you pull all those things together, state-of-the-art cutting technology, state-of-the-art Fresh Cut facility, combined with state-of-the-art unique varieties for taste, flavor, texture, and appearance, we're pretty happy with what we have there and think that uh, not only us, the real ultimate test is with consumers and the feedback with consumers has been very positive. So we really feel like we've delighted the customer and consumer and uh, we look forward to a great future. And you were saying that you have so many things to offer consumers, textured, flavor, and I think you should mention creativity because don't you even have celery straws? <laughs> Yeah, we do have some uh, interesting items in addition to uh, the, the basic lineup. We do have different colors from red celery to white celery. We have celery straws to stuffers, which is a bigger straw that you could stuff with cheeses. You name it, we have it. You have it. And I've also been told that you call celery, now I could be wrong, that you call celery Snow White and other categories the Seven Doors. Is that, is that true? Did I have my information correct on that? Well, I think that goes back to it being our, our flag in the ground. We look at uh, celery as our Snow White, not that the other items are Seven Dwarfs because they're all important. <laughs> oh, no. But, uh, but they do, I think, speak to the uh, emphasis that we put on celery being Snow White. But the Seven Dwarfs are crucial to the success of Snow White as well. And uh, so it's part of the program. Sammy, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome, and go dogs. Go dogs. <laughs>